welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, it is gonna be a home update. We have a huge, huge reveal kind of towards the end of the video, but we're gonna be refreshing, sprucing up some areas in our home. I've been doing a lot of like little makeovers on Instagram and TikTok, so I will leave those linked down below. But you guys, I'm having so much fun over there. If you're not following me over there, you're definitely missing out. But don't worry, I got you just in case you did miss out today's video it's gonna be sharing pretty much everything that I have been up to lately with the house a huge reveal at the end new home decor in all of that good stuff so if you've been following for a while you know how this goes if not make sure you subscribe I do these videos pretty much every single week we are inching closer and closer to the finish line so you're definitely not gonna want to miss out make sure you subscribe and if you want to see how we refresh the house a huge makeover which I'm really excited about tons of home decor and home updates, all that good stuff, then please just keep on watching. But before we get into today's video, I wanna thank our sponsor, Walmart. <laughs> which is just so exciting to say. Y'all know I love me some home decor and you know I love to share affordable options with you all and Walmart is definitely a go-to place, okay? They've got so many different options as far as home decor to really cater to your style, what you're into. I don't know if you can tell, oh, I guess I was kind of hiding it. I did a little sprucing up in my office and I think it looks incredible. I got three pieces, but you guys, while I was online shopping, I'm like, oh wait, but I want this one, but I want this one too, I want this one too. There are so many good finds at Walmart, you guys. I found three pieces, this beautiful gold lamp, which I think looks awesome. I love the shape of it, I love the gold color. It really complements the space. I have a lot of gold in here. I think the lamp is super cute, but you guys, this candle, it smells incredible. Like, it smells so good. It's the perfect scent for spring, honestly, like, it kind of smells like a perfume it smells great but not only that I love the way it looks like the white I mean hello like I'm just in a sea of white over here it just fits the vibe it looks very fresh and clean and crisp in my office I just love the way it looks I love the like ribbed almost detail of the candle it's just really cute really aesthetic and it smells amazing but you guys these flowers these tulips are so cute they're so beautiful these flowers are really nice quality they're super duper soft, which is one thing that I noticed right away as soon as I pulled them out of the bag I was like, well, these flowers are really soft. They look real in my opinion Like I think they look really really nice again Just very clean very crisp very my style here in the office and I absolutely love it Walmart has so many different affordable options for your style. It's such great quality and I'm obsessed with it So I will definitely have every single item that I purchased from Walmart linked down below Below. You could check it out for yourself super affordable and super cute So with all of that being said, thank you again to Walmart for sponsoring today's video If you want to check out our home update see how we switch change rearrange see other places in our home that we Spruce stuff then please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys and if you follow me on TikTok, You already seen this little bathroom Refresh in Briella's room. So we basically switched up a ton of stuff in in Briella's bathroom here. I think it looks super cute. I'm actually kind of on the fence about the fiddle leaf. I don't know. It's just like so bright green with all the pink. I kind of think I want to do like a pompous grass situation. But anyway, this is what we're serving. We got this mirror. We just have these like fake roses over here. It was so difficult for me to find a shower curtain that I actually liked that was girly but not just white because in this bathroom there's no window. So so the lighting in here is just really off and anytime I would get a white shower curtain a cream shower curtain It would just look dingy because there's no natural light. It's literally just this light I don't know something about it was just throwing me off. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get a color. I'm gonna get like a mauve dusty rose color and I think it's really really cute again I'm probably gonna change out the fiddle leaf because I don't know if I'm really feeling that but I had it and I was like oh I want to add a little something yeah I don't I really don't think we need the fiddle leaf so anyway that's gone fiddle leaf you're gone but I just think this is so cute and girly and if you saw my TikTok, you already saw this I just think it's really really cute okay and the next spot we did a little refresh with is the hallway Instagram solid first but I think this is 
is super cute. So I showed you all in the last video, I think just like the mirror and the bench. I don't know if I had anything else, but I got this tree right here, which I think is just like really, really cute. It's thin, which is nice for this space because it's not that large to have like a legitimate like full tree. So this like narrow tree fits perfectly. We have some neutral pillows over here to add some texture and then just like a little decorative object over here in the corner. And I think this is just so cute. I just love this. This is definitely like a little Instagram moment over here. Very cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, you guys, and the last space that we freshened up recently is our downstairs bathroom. I think this looks really, really good. This is definitely like my, I don't know if it's my favorite, but I just love the mirror. It looks just like Briella's mirror upstairs, but black. I think it looks really, really nice. I love how the colors complement each other, like the shower curtain with the hardware, even the vase, the eucalyptus, like it's just a vibe. Like I think this is just, I don't know, kind of trendy. So I'm loving it. I love the little like bath mat here that's just like woven super cute and yeah i'm just like loving it like we had these light fixtures still need to patch up the walls but also look at this soap dish like how pretty is this i think this is just absolutely beautiful i need to switch out the art here but yeah just added a little decorative moment over there and i think this is really cute it's a nice guest bathroom very inviting i mean the eucalyptus and the hardware and the the mirror like this is just it's just a look i'm obsessed okay. Okay, you guys, just left. You could probably see the truck. Can you see the truck still outside? Well, anyway, there's a truck right behind my car. You can see, they literally just dropped this off. So let's go, I'm so excited. It's gonna be a rug for the dining room. Fingers crossed it looks really, really good. <laughs> so, yeah. At least it's not a mirror. We don't have to worry about a mirror crack. That's right? true. It's just with rugs, when you order it online, let me know in the comments if you can relate to this that the color might be off. That's the thing we have to worry about. So, fingers crossed, I'm gonna move all that stuff off. I'll straighten it up, okay? I'll clean it, it'll be fine. And let's do this, whoa! <laughs> Okay, you guys, so here's the rug. <laughs> I rearranged the chairs just so you would be able to see a little bit of the rug over here because if not, like you can't see it. It's way too small. I ordered another size. Actually, they're having a sale, so I ended up only spending maybe like $100 extra. But anyway, I love the rug. I think it looks nice with the floors. It's not too bold. It blends in color-wise with the rest of the dining room. I think it looks really nice. This is a nine by six, too small. So I ordered the next size up. I got an eight by 10. So obviously it'll be like a little bit bigger and a little bit wider. Okay, clearly this is not my strong suit. <laughs> this happened in the living room as well. I got the wrong size rug. Hopefully the next size will fit better. So it'll basically be, since this is six, it'll be a foot wider on each side. So I, I think that'll fit. I think the next size up will be fine. I obviously don't want it to cover all of the floor. I just wanted it to be like a little bit wider than what we have now and a little bit longer. So I think the next size up will be perfect. Again, I don't want like this huge rug over here, but this one, it's just way too small. And let me know what you think about the chair placement. I might not keep it like this. I don't know, we'll see. You guys, I never thought that this day would come. I literally did not think that we would ever get here, but we are here. The butler's pantry is complete. Y'all, let's get a countdown going in three, two, one. Hallelujah, you guys. <laughs> literally, I'm so, so excited. If you saw the last, I don't even know if it's the last one or three last ones ago, video home update where I talked about the drama with the butler's pantry. This has been over a year. You guys, it honestly went out with a bang. Like there was drama attached to this. It's done, but I like, it just left a bad taste in my mouth if I'm being completely honest, but I'm not gonna be, you know, too particular. It's fine. We still have to patch up a couple of the scuffing marks over here. There's a little tiny bit of chipping on this door. I don't know if you can tell, 
but I'm washing my hands of it. I'm done. I'm not going to be calling and complaining and being like, you need to fix this door just because it's taken so long. So basically, I'm going to give you like a super duper quick rundown of how this went the last day of installation. They came unannounced, might I add. I didn't care. I was like, you know what? We're home. Didn't know you were coming, but it's fine. They installed the upper cabinet, which is the one that we wanted. However, there was no glass inside the doors. The glass that we had before would not fit in these doors. We call the company, they say, we don't provide glass. I'm like, but the other one had glass. Where'd that glass come from? They were like, Charlie was never supposed to put glass in it. So I'm like, okay. So I was like, you know what? I'm done, I'm through with this. A little bit of it is chipped, like I showed you. Rob took off the doors, went to, where'd you go, Rob? Oh, Ace Hardware? Oh, Ace Glassware. So he went there, they installed the glass doors. I think we had to pay like a total of like 80 bucks, something like that. He came back home, we installed them. It's done, I'm done with it. I'm through with these people. Actually, you know what? No, let me stop. I was gonna say like you could DM me if you're gonna hire someone in Lexington and I'll tell you if it's them or not. I don't know, just hit me up, just DM me. If you need your um, Butler's Pantry installed, if you need cabinets installed and you live in that area and you're like, girl, but I need to know, just hit me up, I'll, I, I got you. So anyway, this is what the Butler's Pantry is looking like. I love it. Rob installed the hardware. Everything looks amazing. I really am happy with it. At first, I'm not gonna lie, like I wasn't even all that excited. I was just so mentally drained. Like I would say emotionally drained, honestly. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but it was emotionally draining. But we're done. I'm happy with it. I can't wait to style it. Oh, this is it. What do you guys think? Let me know. How crazy was that? And like, I feel like we deserve like a little like cocktail moment after going through all that drama. All right, you guys, we are inside of the pantry right now. And as you can tell, we're working again to take each and every last one of these shelves down because we're gonna go ahead and get some new cabinetry installed. I cannot wait and it looks crazy in here, but this is what it's looking like so far. I took off the top one, it's fairly easy, um, but I can't wait to get the new stuff. So let's continue. Okay, you guys, step stool is out of the way. I do not think you're ready for this pantry reveal. The guys left, well, they didn't just leave. They they did this like a couple of days ago and I just, this is like my little happy place. So if you're ready to see the pantry, let's get a countdown going in three, two, one. Oh, I should have turned on the light, but oh my gosh, you, whoa. You guys, I'm obsessed. Okay, first things first, I need matching baskets. That's happening soon. I just have to figure out like what baskets I want. Okay, so not only do we need matching baskets, honestly, I feel like we need more food too. Like I'm looking around like, we don't have enough food to fill this up. But we also need to install hardware. Hopefully Rob could do that in this video. If not, make sure you subscribe. He'll do that in the next one. But we need hardware. And we also need a countertop. <laughs> we don't have a countertop. I mean, I guess technically, technically, like you could go without one and it would be fine. Like it would serve its purpose. But I mean, there's a gap right there. Like we, we need a countertop. We're gonna get a countertop. That's pretty much the exact, I had to move this <laughs> oven mitt, the exact same style as our countertops in the kitchen. It's gonna be the same vibe. So just picture these countertops <laughs> over here on top of this one. I think it's gonna look so good once we get the hardware. And I actually do have leftover tile from the butler's pantry. So I might do like a tile backsplash back here too. 
kind of doing the most but I feel like I mean we're doing it anyway you might as well like keep the ball rolling and get it as cute as possible so yeah but this is what our pantry looks like I'm really really happy with it love the shelving and space that we have up here really excited to put hardware on here we're gonna oh my gosh I can't even open it without the hardware we just have like some you know necessities in here but the thing is and okay oh, hold on let me open this okay so if you open the cabinets this is what it looks like we just have shelves they're actually pull out shelves <laughs> cleaning products a pull-out shelf is just not practical because if you put anything on it that's like not in a basket it's gonna tip over and fall so I think I'm gonna have them come back and do drawer fronts like this just so I have like an actual drawer to come out because like what's the point either that or just get different shelves that don't pull out and just have like baskets or just have my things in there I don't know but I, and I'm surprised like the designer didn't catch that like hey that's gonna be like not functional to have a pull out shelf in a pantry with food it's all gonna tum tumble over so yeah we have to figure that out it's the same situation in there but as far as these drawers over here I love them I'm really really excited about these drawers this is gonna be like for the kids snacks I already have like a couple snacks in here y'all I was just excited to like put stuff away nothing is in its permanent place obviously but I was just hyped so this is gonna be like for the kids they can come in and like get their snacks everything is like soft clothes I just love it so yeah we just have like extra stuff in here I'm gonna probably organize that in a different video but yeah you guys this is the pantry I'm really really happy with it I think they did such an amazing job y'all know we tried with our three L-shaped shelves listen sometimes you just need to call in backup and I'm glad that we did <laughs>